Hello. I thought today we could read out on the hammock, but since it snowed yesterday, I think we'll stay inside where it's cozy and warm and we'll read with Otis on the couch. We're gonna read a book I really enjoy and it's called Rocks of Oxen by Alice McLaren and illustrated by Barbara Cooney. Marianne called it Rocks of Oxen. She always knew the name of everything. There across the road, it looked like any rocky hill, nothing but sand and rocks and some old wooden boxes, cactus and greasewood and thorny ocotillo, but it was a special place. Ocotillo are these cactus. We don't have them here in Vermont. The street between Rocks of Oxen and the houses curved like a river, so Marianne named it the River Road. After that, you had to ford a re river to reach Rocks of Oxen. I think she's using her imagination because I don't notice that there's water here and she's saying you have to cross a river to get to that special place. Let's see if she uses her imagination later too. Of course, all of Marianne's sisters came. Anna May and Frances and little Jean, Charles from next door, even though he was 12. Oh, and Eleanor, naturally, and Jamie with his brother, Paul. Later on, there were others, but these were the first. Well, not really the first. Roxaboxen had always been there and must have belonged to others long before. When Mary Ann dug up a tin box filled with round black pebbles, everyone knew what it was. It was buried treasure. Those pebbles were the money of Roxaboxen. You could still find others like them if you looked hard enough. So some days became treasure hunting days with everybody trying to find that special kind. And then on other days, you might just find one without even looking. Have you ever found a special stone and pretended that it was money? I know I have. A town of Roxaboxen began to grow, traced in lines of stone, Main Street first, edged with the widest ones, and then the houses. Charles made his of the biggest stones. After all, he was the oldest. At first, the houses were very plain, but soon they all began to add more rooms. The old wooden boxes could be shelves or tables or anything you wanted. You could find pieces of pottery for dishes. Round pieces were the best. Later on, there was a town hall. Marianne was mayor, of course. That was just the way things were. Nobody minded. It seems like Marianne likes to be in charge. After a while, they added other streets. Frances moved to one of them and built herself a new house outlined in desert glass. Bits of amber, amethyst, and sea green, a house of jewels. Oof, that's fancy. Look, and it says, welcome. And she has her name there too. And because everybody had plenty of money, there were plenty of shops. Jean helped Anna Mae in the bakery, pies and cakes and bread baked warm in the sun. Mm. There were two ice cream parlors. Was Paul's ice cream the best or Eleanor's? Everybody kept trying them both. In Roxaboxen, you could eat all the ice cream you want. Whew, that reminds me green class of when we'd go to the Cedar campground and we'd all eat ice cream. It was so good. Everybody had a car. All you needed was something round for a steering wheel. Oh, look, there they go. Of course, if you broke the speed limit, you had to go to jail. The jail had cactus on the floor to make it uncomfortable. And Jamie was the policeman. Anna Mae, quiet little Anna Mae, was always speeding. You'd think she liked to go to jail. Whew, look how uncomfortable it looks. She's surrounded by cactus. But ah, uh, if you had a horse, you could go as fast as the wind. There were no speed limits for horses and you didn't have to stay on the roads. All you needed for a horse was a stick and some kind of bridle and you could gallop anywhere. Sometimes there were wars. 
Once there was a great war, boys against girls. Charles and Marion were the generals. The girls had Fort Irene, there it is, and they were all Girl Scouts. The boys made a fort on the other end of Roxaboxen, there it is, and they were all bandits. Oh, the raids were fierce, loud with whooping and the stamping of horses. The whirling swords of Ocotillo had sharp thorns, but when you reached your fort, you were safe. Whew. Look how pokey those things are. I'm glad you are safe if you made it to your base. Roxaboxen had a cemetery in case anyone died, but the only grave in it was for a dead lizard. Each year when the cactus bloomed, they decorated the grave with flowers. Oh, look how pretty they made it. That was really nice. It says lizard. Sometimes in the winter, when everybody was at school and the weather was bad, no one went to Roxaboxen at all. Not for weeks and weeks, but it didn't matter. Roxaboxen was always waiting. Roxaboxen was always there. And spring came and the Ocotillo blossomed and everybody sucked the honey from its flowers. Yummy. And everybody built new rooms and everybody decided to have jeweled windows. That summer, there were three new houses on the East Slope and two new shops on Main Street. And so it went. The seasons changed and the years went by. Roxaboxen was always there. Sounds like a really special place. The years went by and the seasons changed until at last the friends had all grown tall and one by one they moved away to other houses, to other towns. So you might think that was the end of Roxaboxen, but oh no, because none of them ever forgot Roxaboxen. Not one of them ever forgot. Years later, Marianne's children listened to stories of that place and fell asleep dreaming dreams of Roxaboxen. Gray-haired Charles picked up a black pebble on the beach and stood holding it remembering rocks of oxen. More than 50 years later, Frances went back and rocks of oxen was still there. She could see the white stones bordering Main Street and there where she had built her house, the desert glass still glowed. Amethyst, amber, and sea green. The end. It may be worth asking your parents if they had a special place like Roxaboxen when they were kids. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how you can make your own Roxaboxen or your own special place, place at your house. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.